I want to get right to the allegation made against you by Tara Reid. So the former Senate aide accuses you of sexual assault. She says in 1993, Mr. Vice President, that you pinned her against the wall and reached under her clothing and penetrated her with your fingers. Would you please go on the record with the American people? Did you sexually assault Tara Reid? No, it is not true. I'm saying unequivocally, it never, never happened. And it didn't. It never happened. Do you remember her? Do you remember any any types of complaints that she might have made? I don't remember any type of complaint she <clears throat> may have made. It was 27 years ago. And uh, I don't remember, nor does anyone else that I'm aware of. I'm confident there's nothing. No one ever brought it to the attention of me 27 years ago. This is any assertion at all. No one that I'm aware of in my campaign, at, excuse me, my, my Senate office at the time, is aware of any such uh, request and, uh, uh, or any such complaint. Uh, and, uh, and so th I, 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 I'm not worried about it at all. Look, it's just an open book. There's nothing for me to hide. Nothing at all. Look, from the very beginning, I've said believing women means taking the woman's claim seriously when she steps forward and, and then vet it. Look into it. This, this, that, that's true in this case as well. Women have a right to be heard and the, and the press should rigorously investigate claims they make. I'll always uphold that principle. But in the end, in every case, the truth is what matters. And in this case, the truth is the claims are false. Is it possible these claims are held in an NDA? Do you have any NDAs that have been signed by women who were employed by you? I have, there is no NDA sign and no, no one's ever signed. I've never asked anybody to sign an NDA. There are no NDAs, period, in my case. None. I'm not going to question her motive. I'm not going to get into that at all. I don't know why she's saying this. I don't know why after 27 years, all of a sudden this gets raised. I don't understand it. But I'm not going to go in and question her motive. I'm not going to attack her. She has a right to say whatever she wants to say. But I have a right to say, look at the facts. Check it out. Find out whether any of them, what she says is asserted or true. And based on the investigations that have taken place so far, to the best of my knowledge, by two major papers, they interviewed dozens of my staff members, not just senior staff, but staff members, I'm told, at least that's what they said. And yes. nobody that this was not the atmosphere in my office at all. No one has ever said anything like this. She I'm not suggesting she had no right to come forward. And I never and I'm not saying any woman, they should come forward. They should be heard. And then it should be investigated. It should be investigated. And if there's anything that makes it that is consistent with what's being said and she makes the case or the case is made, then it should be believed. But ultimately, the truth matters. The truth matters. It's period. I fought my entire life to change, to change the whole notion of the law and the cultural sexual around the culture on sexual assault. And I fought to strengthen and protect the process for survivors. I believe we've come a long way and we have a long way to go in this system before we, in fact, are in a position that there's a fair and unbiased view. But at the end of the day, it has to be looked at. These claims are not true.